in this um, problem, we will be doing the implicit differentiation again. So for here, we first need to start off writing our radicals, as always, as an exponent. And then we need to take the derivative of each um, term. So when you're taking the derivative of any base with an exponent, you bring down that base, keep the base same, I'm sorry, you bring down the exponent, keep your base the same, and then decrease your exponent by 1. However, because the base is not just an x, we will need to multiply by the derivative of that base. And the derivative of this will require us to use product rule. So the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. Here on the right hand side, we will also need to use the product rule. So the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function plus the derivative times the last term, which is zero. So here we have one over um, the square root of two xy, and there's also a two downstairs that's not inside the radical. And here we have 2x dx dy plus 2y. And here we have x to the 6 dy dx plus 6x to the 5th y. And we do not need to write the plus 0. Now before I continue, I do want to multiply by this denominator so that we no longer have a fraction here. It will make things a little bit easier to compute later. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 and then the square root of 2xy so that they'll reduce here leaving me with just 2x pretty much what's in the parentheses. Oh I wrote these backwards over here for some reason. And then on the right hand side I'll have to distribute that because I am multiplying the whole side by 2 square root of 2xy. So I get 2x to the 6 square root of 2xy dy dx plus 12x to the 5th y square root of 2xy. Then now we need to move all the terms that have a dy dx to the left and the terms that do not have a dy dx to the right. So I'm going to minus 2y from both sides and I'm also going to minus 2x to the 6 square root of 2xy dx on both sides. So that this term cancels and this term cancels. So I end up with 2x dy dx minus 2x to the 6 square root of 2xy dy dx equal to 12x to the 5th y square root of 2xy minus 2y. Then I'm going to factor out the dy dx on the left hand side. And I'm going to rewrite the right hand side And then I'm going to divide both sides by what's inside that parentheses. So it will cancel on the left hand side and I will have it in my denominator on the right hand side. And now I have solved and found dy dx.